So this question looks like a simplify question. And when I say simplify, that's just a strategy that I use whenever I see a very short question between one and three lines long, and I see expressions and or equations in the question. So let's read it and see how we can simplify the information that's been provided. So the question says, if x equals 2 thirds y, so again, I like to write down my equations whenever they're provided, and y equals 18, so y equals 18, what is the value of 2x minus 3? So 2x minus 3 equals question mark. Okay, so how do I simplify this? Well, here's the question, right? So I don't want to simplify the question, but here is the provided information, right? So I'll just say I for information. So how do I simplify the information provided? Well, I have this x equals 2 thirds y, but then I'm told that y is equal to 18, which means I can substitute this y with 18. So let's see what happens when I do that. So now I'd have, instead of x equals 2 thirds y, I'd have x equals 2 thirds times 18. And I'm going to just call it 18 over 1 so that I can visually see how to multiply the two fractions here. You can always turn a whole number into a fraction by placing a 1 in the denominator. So how do I multiply this? Well, I'm going to multiply straight across, although there is a shorter way to get it. But 2 times 18 is 36. 3 times 1 is 3. And 36 divided by 3 is 12. So now I know x equals 12. Okay. But the question is not asking me to find x. So be aware of that because look, look at choice C, right? It's right there. The answer 12 is right there to trap you. We're not asked to find x, which is why I think it's a valuable um, habit to write down the actual question. The question actually wants us to find what is 2x minus 3. So now that we know what x is, I can take this x value and plug it in to the x in the question. So again, instead of 2x minus 3, I'll now have 2 times 12 minus 3. 2 times 12 is 24, so 24 minus 3, which is equal to 21. And therefore, the correct answer is choice A.